So, first off, I'd like to talk about character development. And in the, the project I'm working on, the, the novel short story, is um, developing the characters quickly, but thoroughly. So you know who they are, but without expanding on the huge details and everything. Well, um, I, the, I, I like to look at, at writing as a kind of organic process because, um, in other words, you, you, you start with a character and his development just occurs or, you know, organically as the book enlarges. And, and he develops in the ways that he reacts with the other characters. You know, it's a kind of give and take. And, and I, was, I was always very influenced, you know, by Icelandic saga. And, and uh, to, to the extent that, and not that I, I fully use this technique, but mm -hmm. in the Icelandic sagas, <clears throat> nobody is very introspective. Okay. They, they, you don't, they don't, you don't go into their minds very often. They just act, and you, you can tell who's a good guy and who's a bad guy by by their behavior. You got to go, you know. Unlike the Beats, who, uh -huh. who, who claimed first word, best word, yeah. Kerouac said he never rewrote that. It was a lie. He wrote, he rewrote plenty actually, but it's. Imp I think it's impossible to just lay it down first time out of the brain and have it be perfect. Okay. Especially if it's a, a, a novel, yeah. you know. So you, you just, just, you know, when you're doing your first draft, knowing that it's going to be full of bad spots. I pitched him in like, you know, five minutes. I told yeah. him the story, less than five, three minutes. Yeah. And he just looked at me and he said, my God, he said, that's way too good for Hollywood. He <laughs> said, you should, you should write that as a novel. But I wanted it not to be in the voice of Gats, the 20-year-old school teacher. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to be in the voice of Harry Angel, mean, tough, you know, private eye. Yeah. And so I read all these dash. I read all these books just to absorb the, the feeling of them. And, and I started playing. I probably rewrote the first paragraph a couple dozen times. And when I felt that you know what, it sounds right. I think I've got the voice. Mm -hmm. Then I was just off to the races, and the book seemingly like wrote itself. And once you get the hang of it, at first you're going, oh God, I slaved over that paragraph. And then you mm. notice that it's so clunky and it's what's slowing. And you just take that magic mark and, you, and a big X goes right through that whole paragraph. And it might have taken you two days, that paragraph. And, yeah. and, and it often proves that the stuff you work the hardest on is the deadest. And the stuff that just flowed out of you cleanly is the good stuff. But it's when you're writing in the beginning, as I say, you should just blast through and mm -hmm. put it all out there. Okay. Next, I would like to ask about conflict uh -huh. in the story. And without conflict, there, there can be no narrative, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. All, all of literature th that I care about is based on somebody wants something that somebody else has. Okay. And wants to take it away from him, okay. or vice versa. Okay. Or two guys want the same gal, or they're gold prospectors, and 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 on the way out, one guy wants to steal the other guy's, and you know, and, and he so he half murders his his buddy, but his buddy crawls to safety and is healed by an Indian woman, and then he seeks revenge. Okay. So there 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 has to be conflict, otherwise there's no narrative. It's yeah. like that's what drives the fiction always. What do you think makes conflict memorable? Well, I think it's memorable if, you know, if, if, if there's um, a certain degree of villainy involved. Mm -hmm. And if you're, you know, and often the bad guys are more memorable than the good guys. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, when you, when you read Othello, you know, you, you remember Iago with a greater mm -hmm. fondness than you actually remember poor stupid Othello.